fearlessness and courage fearlessness and courage what is the meaning of fearlessness if someone pressurizes to you to work in a particular way if you say no and don't succumb to pressure we call it fearlessness courage means what you should have the courage to take some bold decisions in the system now you might have heard about npas what are npas non performing assets now let me say in a non performing asset today you have something called as haircut have you heard about haircut what is haircut what do they do there see let me say i have kept a house and i have taken 1 crore as loan fine and at that time the property's worth was let's say 1.1 crore now what happened after some time i did not pay the loan so interest started accumulating and it became 1.2 crore how much i should pay 1.2 crore how much is the uh, house value 1.1 crore if i sell the house will i recover all the money or will there be some money left can i say some 10 lakhs deficit will be there now government has told that you can leave the 10 lakhs and agree for 1.1 crore leaving that 10 lakhs is called as haircut i'm giving up the 10 lakhs is called as what haircut now i'll tell you malya's case is there now in malya's case malya has to pay me let's say 300 crores and his property is worth 280 crores then how much am i in loss 20 crores if i leave 20 crores to malya then government in future may ask me why did you reduce 20 crores to malya are you getting the point here you reduced only 10 lakhs here you reduced 20 crores so what is happening bank employees are not in a position to take risk so today in a scientific world when everyone is competing even bureaucrat should act like a competitor now when he is scared that my decisions if it goes wrong then i may be punished then he will not take any bold decisions at all for a bureaucrat unlike other officers like in management and other things he also has to take bold decisions so to take that bold decisions which word is required courage fearlessness means what i'll tell you you might have heard from 1947 sardar vallabhbhai patel and nehru had an argument there are three pillars used by britishers to rule us one was like you know they call transportation networks second one was bureaucracy third one was army right so sardar vallabhbhai patel was asked by nehru we should remove bureaucracy because these people were used by britishers against us nehru for that sardar vallabhbhai patel said see these people are so honest to their work they were working under whom britishers and they followed british rules and regulations even when they were acting against their own people so i am acting on british advice but i am acting against my own people that means they are honest they were not biased if i change the rules and i ask them to follow the new rules and regulations then these people will follow the new rules and regulations as well do you agree so bureaucracy is honest it is impartial it did not show partiality between indians and outsiders we need them for their honesty and integrity so sardar vallabhbhai patel forced to have civil servants back in the system now that's how bureaucracy is present even after british has left but here i am trying to tell you 1971 indira gandhi brought nationalization 
After that, she also brought <coughs> emergency. Once emergency came, politicians started dictating to bureaucrats what needs to be done. After emergency, a committee was set up to see what happened during emergency. They found that during that, bureaucrats did not just surrender to politicians. Politicians asked them to bend. Bend in front of us. But they started crawling in front of politicians. That means they literally started sleeping and they did not do anything against politicians. So, 1947, when you had bureaucracy, they were independent. They were not biased. After 1975, emergency, bureaucrats, if you see today, they are politically biased. They started surrendering their values for political opportunities. That lead <coughs> Why did they do that? They were scared that if they don't do, they will be removed from the job. Or they may be transferred to some jungle or some other places. You might have seen, whenever uh, in movies or anywhere you might have seen, if uh, you are very strict, you will be transferred to such areas. So, because of that fear, they were not ready to take any actions. So, we say that is fearlessness. Not having that is called as fearlessness. I hope you get the difference between fearlessness and courage. Can you just write? It is often believed that It is often believed that comma, public officers are honest themselves but but they never act independently. Full stop. They succumb to S U C C U M B. They succumb to unjust demand of political masters or their own official superiors come out of fear that their promotions will be spoiled or <coughs> they will be transferred to inconvenient place. Will stop. A person is fear. Sorry, sorry. A person is under fear largely due to his weak character and lack of conviction. that they are doing honest job. Just read the last line. What is it? A person is under fear because of what? Weak character. Underline it. 
I will be scared only when I know that I have done some mistake. Correct? And what is another one? Lack of conviction. That I am not feeling myself that I am doing a honest job. Then only I am scared. If I know, then I am least bothered about it. Pull stop, you write there. Honest job, pull stop. So, a person must always believe in his work. And should have the ability to convince others that he would not work under their pressure next paragraph you write one of the next paragraph one of the serious charges against bureaucracy is that they play safe and never take any bold decisions full stop in the complex and <clears throat> technocratic world technocratic world of today Public servants are required to take speedy and innovative decisions which needs courage full stop courage means the will to do what you know you should do even though you are afraid i hope you understand the will to do what is what you have to do even though you are afraid of doing it see guys you are all courageous people you have left beautiful careers or you might have got a different career but you have chosen this particular field like you know which is completely like you know not reliable you never know what is going to happen how it would be and all but still you have taken the decision to be with it what do we call it as courageous right